Good morning, ladies and gents. Today, I'm going to be picking back up where I left off, okay? Uh, Dada's being serialized, but it ain't being deserialized, okay? So, we'll get that sorted first. Uh, after that, though, we're going to establish a nice, uh, clean, general workflow for editing the map, saving it to disk, committing the changes, and so on and so forth. So, strap in, get comfy. Let's get crack a -lacking. Ah, that right there is the start of a good day. I can feel it. I'm ready. Okay, so yesterday, what we did is we got the map data being uh, being saved. So we can actually go ahead and plonk some ground segments in, right? They're going to be there. Then when we click this and write map data, then it's going to go ahead and commit that to the res folder with the initial map, okay? And it's three kilobytes size, beautiful. But that's not being used anywhere. It's not being read back in. So we're going to have to deserialize that bad boy real quick with a cheeky little read initial map data so then when we when it comes to uh let's see you load world over here or create world actually technically okay okay idea idea got create world right whenever the world first gets created it just copies all of the initial map data into that world but it then it uses those chunks and builds off of them for future stuff okay so all we really need to do is copy all the chunks into that path right it's like we're just putting a clean slate into it which is essentially all we're doing we're creating the world we just copy them over easy peasy lemon squeeze Easy. Ah, um, so yeah, we're just gonna copy all that data over and create world. So if we go uh, create world directories and initialize world data, awesome. All right, and then we generate test platform, which obviously we ain't doing anymore. Fill chunk entities. I don't know what the fuck that's all about. Um, who knows? Who knows? So what's happening here? I'm creating the new player entity, which is cool. I'm down with it right here. We're gonna go ahead and copy um initial map data. That's all we're gonna do. Actually, it's I don't even need to read it right all i need to do oh actually yeah we kind of do maybe i don't know what we need to do is literally copy the initial map data over so it's gonna be from editor no it's not here it'll be inline it'll be inline in in, in editor it's not actually set one function uh where is it update map editor down the bottom here up the top draw editor ui here it is right here awesome all right so we're literally just gonna do this so the destination is going to be not here but the destination is going to literally be just path no it's gonna be chunks path destination chunks path i think that's the destination and then the source is going to be the initial underscore map res path from the res path yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that works that works and go to destination all right so let's see if that's actually working so copy initial map data right here what that should do what we should see from this is uh basically this right here should get copied into worlds chunks that's what should happen on startup worlds testing chunks and it's there that's an easy win easy goddamn win now question Okay. For myself, really. Do we re-implement chunks today? Do we do we dare try with those bad boys up? Or should we just continue on with having just the one file that we're putting all entities into? It's a tricky question because on the one hand, yes, it's something that needs to be done. But on the other hand, I can't be fucked. <laughs> all right. I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what we're going to do. The council will decide your fate. And by council, I mean the gods of RNG. Tails, chunks, and we it on heads, no chunks. That's fine by me. <laughs> home for a poll no you see well if i do a poll all right then i am of course giving you guys the power and i know what you're gonna do you're gonna vote for chunks because you want to see me suffer this ain't a democracy baby they call me kimmy fearless leader of north korea so we're copying the initial map data over well it's being copied into the chunks right which is a bit fucky since it's not technically a chunk maybe we just copy over the level data instead of the chunks then i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna call it temp chunk and it's just one big chunk that's gonna be the way to do it now when we go to save world uh save global level data no oh uh, yeah 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 okay and then we'll go save all entities to chunks to do actually put them in chunks not just one big chunk it's okay boys minor details minor details so we're gonna open a new file over here actually you know what why am i using char pointers riddle me this why do they not work am i dumb all possible answers so we're getting to the world path and then we're going into chunks chunks slash temp chunk dot arc so chunk file path we're gonna open that and wb which stands for right binary i think not just just right okay big mistake okay if you if you're dumping raw data into this and you got a bunch of 
cool shit like floats and all that kind of good stuff. You want to add a B on the end. Because if, if you don't make it binary, okay, you're going to find some little nasty buggies. All right, then I'm going to chuck a cheeky little F close on the file once we're done. All right, so we're just going to write all the entities into them. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And now it is actually all the entities. It's not just the map entities we're writing. It's all of them. I don't get why all of a sudden this just is shitting the bed. Okay, how about I just put this back the way it was? Okay, everything's dandy. Comment you out. Are we Gucci? We're Gucci now. For some reason, this right here has just done all kinds of stuff. You see, the thing is, okay, it's assuming that it's just one big fat array of entities, which it really ain't. Also, what does new entity do? It just finds and allocates a new one, but then it's gonna allocate everything. Why would you do that? Yeah, this is flawed. This is really flawed. This shouldn't be called for every single entity. That's just weird. That's just weird, champ, bro. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking instead of doing that, we do that. Or even better, we do that, then we do that. And then it puts it into there. And then we go, if entity, if entity has property, entity reference to the entity if it has property entity property is allocated then we can go ahead entity has property so instead of just only incrementing the ones we're going to do the entire entity table that's getting written and it gets closed out beautiful so we're looping through the entire entity table size new entity read in the entity we check if the entity has the property if it's allocated and if it is then we are going to we're not going to give it any defaults or anything we're literally just going to basically find <laughs> You know what? Why don't I just do this? Ready? I'm just gonna overwrite the current one. Entities at I, okay, is equal to. I'm just gonna copy it over. We're just gonna copy that in, and that'll be fine. Because we're looking to the entire entity table size. Just gotta make sure that the play isn't being created before this happens, which it is. So we're gonna do this afterwards. Read in player data, player and world data. It works! It actually works! Let's go! First time, boys. It's loaded back in. That right there is the persistent map. Dunskis. Woo! Let's go. Ah, damn. First try, boys. First try. Damn, that feels good. And now we have a persistent map. And we can go ahead and say, say we wanted to edit it a bit. Okay, we can go and like drag it around like this. Do that. Um, do it. Do, do a bunch of weird shit, okay? We're definitely not gonna make a penis, okay? That would be very immature. We don't do that here. I'm not making a penis, guys, okay? I'm not, I just, I wouldn't do that. So now, write map data. We've written it, we exit out, we rebuild. There is no world at the moment, boys. There is no world that has ever existed, ever. We're in the build, there's no worlds. That's just the initial map, okay? It's just the initial map. We hit F3, it's there, it's there. It works. Oh my God, it's glorious. Shia LaBeouf gets in there as well. Map data is there. We can work on the map. Finally, we can work on it. We can make changes to it. We can update it. We can create an entire goddamn game world from the ground up. All right, catch you later, boys. See you tomorrow. Take care.